video, we're going to talk about applications with percent and percent increase or decrease. So actually, we did a lot of calculation in the real life with percent. For example, tax, shopping, mortgage, credit cards. So let's start from the tax rate. For example, if the price of a car is $20,000, and the tax rate in Daytona Beach is 6.5%. We need to find the total amount you will need to pay for this car. So first thing we need to evaluate would be the tax. We know tax comes from the original price times the tax rate. This will be your tax. So in this example, tax is 20,000 times 6.5%. To convert a percent number into decimal, all we need to do would be we need to move the decimal point to the left by two places. So 6.5% equals 0.06. So let's continue. Your tax is going to be 20,000 times 0 0.065, which will be $1,300. Next, we need to calculate how much you need to pay for this car. The total amount you need to pay equals the original price of this car plus the tax you need to pay. That is 20,000 plus 1,300. So the final amount you need to pay would be 21,300. That's how we use the percent to evaluate to the tax and the total amount you need to pay for a car. So let's turn to the next page. Let's talk about the percent increase or decrease. In this example, the original price of a book is $240. If you receive a student discount of 5%, you need to find out how much you need to pay for this book. Since this is a student discount of 5%, which means it is a percent decrease problem. So first thing we need to do would be we need to find out how much is the discount that we can receive. Discount comes from discount rate times the original price, which is 5% times 240. And again, we need to convert 5% into a decimal number, which is 0 0.05. So finally, the discount that you can receive would be 0 0.05 times 240. That is $12. Next, we need to find out how much you need to pay because this is a discount. So this amount is going to be subtracted from the original price that you need to pay. So the final answer would be we need to subtract discount from original price. So original price minus discount, which is 240 minus 12. So the final price you need to pay would be $228.00. That is $228.